Hello, I'm Taylor Hackford, the director of Chuck Berry Hail Hail Rock and Roll, and I'm here to introduce you to the first DVD presentation of this film. Shot back in 1986, a group of incredibly talented performers came from all over the world. Keith Richards, Eric Clapton, Linda Ronstadt, Julian Lennon, Robert Cray, Etta James, all came to pay homage to a man that we consider to be the founder of an American art form, rock and roll. We traveled down to St. Louis to celebrate Chuck's 60th birthday. And to our surprise, our star was a bit ambivalent. Actually, he'd invited us. He was one of the producers of the film, but he wasn't always cooperative. Now, I personally wasn't that surprised because Chuck Berry has always been trouble. <laughs> He's the original rock and roll outlaw, literally having done time in prison three times during his career. I knew that if I turned a camera on Chuck Berry, things would not go according to plan. And that's exactly what happened. Actually, if you see this film, there's an edge, there's a tension to, for everyone throughout because we're rolling with the punches. You know, we're all reacting to Chuck Berry. Uh, I'm standing here in Ocean Park, California. Why? because I first saw Chuck Berry right over there. Years ago in the mid-60s uh, at a club called the Cheetah, which was next to uh, Pacific Ocean Park, a funky amusement park that was over there and has since been torn down. Now, at that time, Chuck Berry was going through a rediscovery, a rebirth. And the Rolling Stones and the Beatles had recorded his songs. Uh, a new generation had discovered him, and I guess this has happened over and over and over again in Chuck's career. In a way, that's what we were doing in 86 when we went down to celebrate his 60th birthday. The amazing thing was that he hadn't lost a thing. He still was amazing, brilliant. He was difficult, funny, supremely talented, and could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. If you saw the original film in the theater in 1987, I think you're going to be thrilled because we've remastered it in high definition. We've uh, redone the music in 5.1, and I think you're going to see a better quality film than you did at the original. Um, in addition to the film, there are going to be bonus materials never seen before. And uh, bonus materials I'm particularly proud of because I think they're historic. Not only do you have intimate moments captured between Chuck and the guests, like Eric Clapton, also Chuck and, Eric and Robbie Robertson of the band kind of talking about Chuck's past and having him reveal some very intimate details. But beyond that, I did original interviews with some of Chuck's contemporaries, people that could be considered his co-creators of the art form of rock and roll. The Giants, Little Richard, Bo Diddley, Jerry Lee Lewis, Roy Orbison, Willie Dixon, the Everly Brothers, and Sam Phillips of Sun Records and Ahmed Erdogan of Atlantic Records. There's over four and a half hours of bonus material. Why put all that together? Because I think it's truly historic. I think that in the future, when someone wants to know how this new art form was created, you can have the originators, the creators, appearing in this DVD and telling the story in their own voice. Uh, it's 50 years since the founding of this art form. I think of this DVD as a birthday present. So, welcome to Hail Hail Rock and Roll, the DVD.